Today I'm going to show you how to fix a problem that plagues nearly every new WordPress user at one time or another. And if this hasn't happened to you, it likely will at some point soon. I know this happened to me all the time when I first started working with WordPress, and it still happens to me from time to time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you log into your WordPress dashboard, and you've installed a new plugin, and this is going to be the greatest plugin ever, and you can't wait to activate it. And when you click the Activate button, this happens. Now, don't adjust your computer. There's nothing wrong with your monitor. This is what the website looks like. It's gone away. And when I click over to see what my visitors are going to see, I refresh my page and see there's nothing there. It's completely gone. Now, this problem is so prevalent, it actually has a name. They call it the white screen of death. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the white screen of death and restore your website to its normal functionality. But first, a pro tip. Don't panic. I realize this can be terrifying the first time you encounter this problem, but really, don't panic. Your website is not gone. Nothing has been deleted. True, you can't see your website or you can't log into the WordPress dashboard, but that doesn't matter. We're going to fix this problem without logging into WordPress, and your site will be up and running in a matter of minutes, completely intact. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to make this work. And you really should have these on hand just in case. You need an FTP program. That's a special program for moving files around the internet. If you're unclear about FTP, what it is, or how it works, there's a lesson in the WP Essentials course in the module on Internet Basics. I talk about FTP. I explain everything you need to know in that lesson. Go look at it. And you also need the FTP login instructions for your website. Your web host should have sent those to you when you created your account. Hopefully you saved those. Now I'm going to use these things to restore my website. FTP is very much like a file browser. In fact, that's exactly what it is. It's a file browser for the internet. And so when I connect to my web server, I see all of the files and folders that are sitting on my web server. And so I've connected to my web server and I can see the directory where WordPress is installed. And from there, I can navigate to the wp-content folder and then into the plugins folder. And this is where the plugins are stored. And from here, I can disable plugins. How do I do that? I disable plugins by changing the name of the folder. If WordPress cannot find the plugin folder, WordPress will skip over it and won't load it. it would, it's the same as if you disabled it from the dashboard. And so here I know that a very bad plugin is my problem plugin, and I'm just going to put an X in front of it to give it a different name. Now, if I wasn't sure which plugin it was, I could sort by the date and go with the most recent one. You see it sorts up at the top there. That's the most recent one that I installed. That's another way of doing it. And I should mention that this white screen of death also affects themes. So if you activate a theme that gives you the white screen of death, you can just navigate down to the themes folder and change the name of the folder for the theme that is causing you problems. Now you could also delete it, but you may want to work with it at some point in the future when you figure out what the problem is. This is just a very quick way to get the site back online. So now that I've renamed this directory, let me go and reload my website. Here's the white screen of death, and I'm going to reload my browser now. And there is the WordPress admin. And you see, I got an error message at the top here saying that a very bad plugin could not be activated. So it's been deactivated because it couldn't be found. And when I go to my website and reload, my website is back and everything is normal. And just that easily, I've recovered from the white screen of death. So I guess the moral of this story is don't panic but also have an FTP program ready and know what your login credentials are. And if you ever run into the white screen of death, you'll be prepared to deal with it. 